Hey everyone, it is Go Curry from Red Light Gamers, and we are here to talk about my personally favorite game that I'm most excited for, Killer Instinct. And so today I want to talk about basically the community feedback that W Helix Games got uh, a little while after E3 and what they have done so far in terms of the community and what they have learned from the community. So we'll start with the first thing on the list which was stage or rooftop finishers. Um, this is kind of an iffy. It's been confirmed, semi-confirmed, but I mean it might be for season two. We haven't seen it as of yet, but it's been hinted at sometimes. Uh, we're just we just don't know. Maybe a spinals or full gore stage might include a rooftop or stage finisher. Uh, it was originally thought that a Sedira stage had a rooftop or stage finisher due to the fact that there was a huge spider that you get once you do the ultra. But um, so far, we haven't seen any stage or rooftop finishers. Maybe before launch, we might see something or hear something. But as of yet, it's a no. Secondly, we got uh, classic skins. That is definitely confirmed. W Helix Games and Microsoft both confirmed that each of the eight characters will have their original classic skins if you buy the Ultra Edition or the Ultimate Pin Edition. Again, the Ultra Edition is the digital version of Killer Instinct, which have all the eight characters and will have some accessories and uh, um, all the classic costumes or classic skins. And then the Ultimate Pin Edition is a $60 version of the a game. It's a physical game, uh, physical case that comes with the Pin Edition book and uh, uh, you, it's still digitally downloaded but uh, it'll include the same classic skins and accessories, but it's $60 and exclusively can be ordered from the Microsoft Store, online store. So that is classic skins definitely confirmed. Um, let's see, Darker Announcer. I don't really know about Darker Announcer. I think it was originally a Darker Announcer around the Glacius or uh, Thunder Build, but then it kind of went back to its original, but it's more, uh, I mean, I don't really mind it, but it depends, I guess, on your taste. So, Darker Announcer, I'll leave it at a question mark. Ultimates. Um, these have been semi kind of confirmed for Season 2. It's not 100% set in stone as of yet, but uh, it's definitely not coming for Season 1. I think Adam Green uh, over at the uh, PlayXBLA uh, Twitch streams has said over and over that Ultimates they want to do it and if they get support they'll definitely be doing it for season two so that's no for season one maybe for season two okay so uh the next thing is more blood and blood on floor i think for the e3 we did barely saw any blood and if we did it was very minute um they definitely improved there's more blood um they had several blood red but now they changed it to green i don't know what the reason is but uh, Mike Willett has been saying that uh, it's, it's something related to the story and we won't get story mode until all the eight characters are released around March. So, but the blood, there's definitely more blood and there's blood on the floor. So that's a check, that's a yes. Next thing is the fabulous No Mercies. These are definitely not confirmed for Season 1, but again, just like with Ultimates and Rooftop and Stage Finishers, it's semi-confirmed for Season 2, like Adam Green on the XBLA uh, Twitch stream has been saying that they want to do it and if they get support they'll definitely try to put it in Season 2, but not for Season 1. Classic Tunes Remix and Killer Soundtrack. Um, I believe I saw a video, um, I'll probably leave a description or a link down below that showed um, that you can use your KP, your killer points. This is like an in-game currency that you get for completing in-game challenges. And you can basically spend your KP points to buy uh, the classic tunes for, uh, for the stages. So Tooth and Claw for Saber, to uh, Saber Wolf stage. Uh, I don't know how this would work. I don't know if you can just hear it or you can actually integrate it into the stage. It kind of seems stupid if you can't integrate it into the uh, new stages. But so I would say uh, that there's classic tunes or remix. I'm not sure, but I know that uh, what's the guy's name? Uh, oh my, my head's blank right now. I can't remember the name. But uh, the the audio guy, the guy who uh, made the soundtrack and the stage soundtrack, he said that which we call it that. Uh, there, he left hidden clips of the classic tunes remix within the new 
soundtracks, if that kind of makes sense. So like for example, um, there was a video by uh, Maximilian and he showed off the hidden uh, saber tooth, tooth and claw theme in the new uh, saber tooth violin-esque theme. So they're, they're there and as, in terms of a killer soundtrack, it's not been confirmed but many people have been asking Microsoft and Double Helix games for it. So we don't know, it might come later on, maybe for season two. But as of yet, no. There's no killer soundtrack. Classic tunes and classic remix, yes, they're in there. Uh, albeit, it's kind of confusing as of now, but we'll have to wait the launch to see how it works. So, player pain vocals would hit. This was something that was kind of annoying when I was playing it first. Uh, you didn't really hear Saber Wolf or uh, uh, Jago scream when they get hit, but now you can finally hear the pain when they get hit, I think, in the latest build. So, that's definitely confirmed. Uh, player pain vocals when hit, that's confirmed. Victory cinemas and character stories and endings. So victory cinemas, I think you guys, I think the the community was talking about um, supreme victory, awesome victory, perfect. It's there. Uh, it's within the same stage, though. It's not like a separate 24 frames per second type of uh, cinema, but it is uh, there. Um, in terms of character stories and endings, uh, they are having a. a story mode but that is going to come after launch probably when full glory is released around march or after the next thing on the list is announcer says combo that is definitely in there uh the new the latest build definitely says combo after each uh combo if you if you complete if you end the combo with an ender then the announcer will say brutal combo if you don't end it with an ender and you break it or you lose it early it'll just say brutal so Definitely, uh, announcer says combo is in there. The next thing is humiliations, the funny dance that you get. Um, humiliations are, in, uh, as, as with uh, No Mercies, Ultimates, and Stage Rooftop Finishers, they want to put it in Season 2, but they don't have time to put it in Season 1 as of now, but if they get more support, they'll definitely try their hardest to put it in Season 2. So again, it's a no for season one and a question mark for season two. Leave a comment down below and please don't forget to hit that like button. It really does help us out a lot. And if you have the killer instinct, subscribe. Because I'm definitely going to be posting up some gameplay of the new KI day one. Hope you guys have an awesome day.